welcome to Virtual High School Science Department. Our vision is to inspire young scientists of the future, atom by atom. Rainbows have become an iconic image and a way of showing our thanks for all the hard work and efforts from our NHS. Can you make a rainbow in a jar? You will need a range of equipment from a glass jar or any container, water, honey, lollipop sticks, olive oil, food colouring in three different colours, washing up liquid and a disposable container. This can be a tray or a cup. Step one is using your disposable container, mix 50ml of honey and a few drops of food colouring. Use the lollipop stick to mix the food colouring in the honey. Once you have finished, pour the mixture into the bottom of your jar. Pour the mixture slowly against the side of the jar. Step two, in another disposable container, mix a light green soap with some food colouring. Again, use your lollipop stick to mix the mixture. Once the mixture has been mixed, pour it into the bottom of the jar. Again, pour, pour slowly against the side of the glass jar. Step three, in a disposable container, pour 50 ml of olive oil. Once you've done this, you can then pour your olive oil into your jar. Pour the mixture slowly against the side of your jar. Step four, in another disposable container, mix 50 ml of water and a few drops of food colouring. This can be any colour you choose. Using a lollipop stick, mix the food colouring and the water. Once you have mixed your mixture, pour it slowly against the side of the glass jar. Have the four liquids mixed together. Why do you think this has happened? Or did it not happen? Density is the weight of a liquid. Different liquids have different densities. Which of your liquids was the most dense? Which was the least dense? What have you learnt from doing this investigation? Take a photograph of your rainbow jar and email it to us at sciencetransition at virtual.wigan.sch.uk. We can't wait to see your rainbow jars. Until then, stay safe and take care of you and your family.